In this lecture snippet, I want to use a command line tool rather than a GUI tool to be able to view the hard drives, just as another option to be able to view information about hard drives or disks that are associated with my operating system. So to begin with, I'm going to go ahead and click on the Ubuntu Start option, and I'm going to look for the terminal. Now that the terminal is open, I'm going to run the command. Now, just as a understanding, whenever we work with the actual drives of a hard drive or the disks themselves or the devices, you will need to run sudo. So I'm going to type in sudo to run it as the administrator. And then I'm going to need to go ahead and use the command f disk. And then we're going to use the option dash l for listing. And I'll go ahead and hit enter. And I will need to put in my administrative password. And I'll go ahead and maximize this so we, we can see what's going on here. This lists out all of the hard drives or disks associated with my particular operating system. And I'm going to highlight all of disk A. There we go. You can see that this is device SDA. It is a 60, basically a 60 gigabyte hard drive. And they break down all the sector information, the heads that are part of the actual disk themselves, how many bytes each sector is, which is typically 512 bytes, and we can see that there. We can see some uh, disk identifier as well, but we can also see that something doesn't look right with FDisk, and that's because this is formatted as a volume rather than partitions. However, you can see that it tried to make sense of it here. I'm going to scroll down and look at the next disk. There it is. And I can easily identify that this is the disk that has my Linux operating system on it. And the reason why I can see that is, of course, it says Linux right here. But with Ubuntu, typical installations include a partition 1, partition 2, and partition 5. Partition 5 is usually the swap partition. Partition 2 is extended partition. And then partition 1 that you see here is where my whole operating system actually resides. And you can see that this is the information about the particular drive. It is a 20 gig hard drive, which is listed here as 21.5, but it will be called a 20 gig hard drive. As well as I have a last hard drive here that's associated with my operating system. This one is another 60 gig hard drive. And I can see some of the information about it. On this one here, it says SDC1. So it has one partition. And I can see that this partition is formatted as NTFS. So this is a hard drive that has been taken from a Windows computer. So this is using FDisk to run the command line option to be able to view the hard drives that are associated with my particular operating system.